Hi, this is Margaret and Bradley McCoy. In 2020, we were furloughed from our jobs due to the pandemic. We decided to make the most of it and go on an epic adventure. We bought a 1973 Nautiline houseboat in Winona, Minnesota, and this is our documentation of boating it all the way down the Mississippi River to our home in New Orleans. Grab your life vest and your beverage of choice. We assure you it is going to be one wild ride. Pleasure craft, lock 5A south, looking for a lift northbound. So this that'll be about 10 minutes. And then you're up. Get ready. Push off now. So did we do that correctly or no? We did just fine. Okay. Okay, so what are we doing next? Yes, it is. What are we doing next? We're going to go up to, there's a guy up here and he's going to hold, he's going to drop us a line. Okay. He's going to drop us a line up here. So we'll just go up here further. See that guy up there, babe? Thank you. Right side or left side? Left side. See that guy right up there? Yeah. Up on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said, we've got to stay on this side. There's a big barge that's approaching. Uh -huh. So to come back down would, is not yeah, cause it'll be like, like two hours or something. Yeah. Okay. Shit. What? Oh, shit. It's okay. You're, you're fine over there. Do you want us to kill the engines? It's not necessary, but it's preferred. It's not okay. necessary, but preferred. Okay. Morgan, I'm going to grab this one and you run to the back. Okay. You're on the back. I got it. Go ahead. Sorry. <coughs> first time or so. <laughs> and pretty, uh, pretty new to the, to the boat in general as well, so. Yeah, I think I gotta get the idle turned down because I actually haven't given any throttle in it. Yeah. Whew. I still wanna see us on the other side away from you though. <laughs> 
We made it into our first lock, and we have some really nice gentlemen at 5A showing us the, the actual literal ropes of how to navigate the upper Mississippi. Kind of crazy, super unknown, but we're here and we're waiting, and we heard that there's a tugboat just on the other side, so that's going to be even more of an adventure once we get out of here. It was a little, uh, a little nerve-wracking, but um, we made it through. There's oh, no issues, no other boats, so it was probably the best time. And uh, the gentleman helping us here is extremely friendly and nice with what to do and how to do it and understanding of us being rookies. Uh, pretty green over here, but uh, here I am holding on to a rope, sitting tight. We just get to the other side there, we will have made it. So, wish us luck on that. All right, we just made it through lock 5A behind us, our first lock. Uh, it went really well, but it was definitely scary. We called them, let them know it was our first time. The guys were super nice. So, so uh, nice. Gave us uh, assistance at the lock. Gave John us and Mike. Gave us additional advice um, on what to do and how to handle it. Uh, so that very comforting there. And um, now we're on the flat bridge for the first time, and it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the flybridge, for those of you don't, that don't know, is the top of the boat where you can steer it. There's another steering wheel up top. And there's a nice bench for both of us to sit and catch some sun and take in these epic views. So it's our second night out here on the water. Uh, we navigated the water pretty well, made it through our first lock today. So finally have enough time, figured uh, throw out a line, see if we can catch a catfish. Got an eight, I'm gonna tight line. This is an eight ounce on here. Um, so basically when I drop this out, that's gonna hit on the bottom and this will drag just right off the bottom. <clears throat> catfish or bottom dweller fish. I've got this bait that I was able to buy in the store, which is like catfish blood and so i'll put it on the hook i want to go ahead and throw it out tonight um just because great thing is i can leave it and check it back in the morning there may be a catfish also the water was a little deeper on the back uh, good current so i feel like that's going to give a better chance but eventually i've got some uh, shad a casting net uh, i've got some corks to float the top to so i'm gonna try different baits and different levels but uh this was just something that was real simple to throw out for now so i'll get the line good and tight right here so now i'm dragging the bottom and then I'll set it up, and that'll be it. We'll just let it, let it ride, see what happens.
currently walking through sketchy back alleys in Winona, Minnesota. Everything's closed for dinner. We're late dinner eaters at like 9 p.m. It's on the reg. So we picked up some steaks. Thank goodness they were open, the little market. And hopefully we make it back to our house boat. Had to get some ribeyes, put some meat on us before we journey off down this river. We'll the fish that I'm supposed to catch. <laughs> back here on the back of the houseboat, we came back to Winona tonight or today to get a couple tune-ups. We're gonna go do our laundry, get a couple last minute shopping, refill on our groceries. But specifically, we went and got some ribeyes for tonight. Figured we needed to kinda put some protein on us and beefing up before we make this long haul on all the dry goods I made us get. Uh, so we got a little barbecue pit back here. Beautiful ribeyes pulling off right now. Yum! We're gonna treat ourselves a little bit. We've uh, it's been a lot of work to date. Put a lot of work in fixing water lines, cleaning everything up, organizing, fouling it in. Uh, so now we're finally right at the verge. We went and camped out a few nights on beaches. Got to really enjoy it, and uh, now we're gonna have some ribeyes and take it in.